There are 26 letters in the alphabet, each one with a different name. And all 26 letters of the alphabet come in different size and shapes. And when the letters come together, it makes it even better, cause one thing is for sure. All the letters come together to make something better, like words and so much more. Sing it with me now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, that's the alphabet symphony. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Wathen. Mrs. Carpenter. Today we're going to talk about my favorite, the letter S. Okay, the letter S can be tricky to write. The main thing is to figure out which way am I, am I supposed to start. And it's going to go backwards, on like on a clock, with the numbers on a clock. And then it's going to go forward on the clock. It does both directions. So that's the uppercase S, the lowercase S. Is smaller but it looks the same backwards and then forwards on a clock so that is the letter S and later today you're gonna watch some videos and you're gonna get a chance to practice the letter S so let's practice with our mouth we're gonna close our teeth we're gonna smile and the air is gonna come through our teeth watch me very good make sure you smile and make sure you keep those teeth closed Everybody show me your one finger. Very good. We're going to make an S from our mouth. See all that noise that came from my mouth? We're going to do that with the finger. That's how we're going to make the letter S. When we practice, and sometimes we might forget to say stop, we might forget the S and say top. Or we might say poon, and we're trying to say spoon. So sometimes your teacher might give you this little hand clue with the finger and go, and that means you have to make that noise from your mouth. S spoon or s stop. All right? So let's practice some words with the letter S. I'll go first, and then you say it after me. S soup. S soup. S seat. S seat. S seat. C. C. Sock. S sock. Sad. There we go. Sad. Very good. Now I have Spot the dog here to help us practice some of the words with the S at the very end. So Spot, I need you to say the S at the end when we say it. All right, guys, are you ready? I'm going to go first and then you say it after me. Close. Close. Goose. Goose. Grease. Grease. Grass. Grass. Class. Class. Oh, look, you guys, I think you did pretty good. He agrees. Very yeah. good. Okay, guys, so you've seen what the S looks like, and you've heard what the S looks like. So all day today, you'll be busy looking and listening for the letter S. Have a great day. Bye. Let's learn how to make the uppercase S. The uppercase S starts like a lot of the other letters that we've talked about, not at the top, but off to the side, like the O, the Q, the G, the C. The tricky part about the S is that you change directions part way through. So you start off going backward around the clock, and then at the midpoint, you go forward. So you go backward to the midline and then you turn and go forward. We also say we go over around curve. Okay? So let's trace this one. Over around curve. Over around curve or backward on the clock and forward on the clock. Let's trace a couple of these. Over, around, curve. 
be sure you're holding your pencil correctly and you're using your helper hand. Over, around, curve. Backward on the clock, forward on the clock. Backward on the clock, forward on the clock. Now we're going to make some on our own. You see the starting point is off the line just a little bit. So you go over, around, and at the midline, you start the curve the other direction. Over, around, curve. Or backward on the clock, you see the letter C. Then you go forward on the clock and give it a bottom. Backward on the clock, forward on the clock. Let's talk about a few things that might go wrong when you're making the letter S. The biggest thing that you need to remember is which direction to begin. Because if you go forward on the clock, your S is going to be backwards. It's going to look a lot like the number 2. And we don't want that. S goes the other direction. And it is an uppercase S, which means it starts up here by the top line. The lowercase s starts somewhere else, but all the uppercases take up the whole space. So once again, for backward on the clock, forward on the clock. Mrs. Wathen almost messed up. And backward on the clock, forward on the clock. This is another letter that's going to take a lot of practice, and so we may need you to do it more than once. And don't be upset if we make you do, make, fix some things that aren't right. And again, the biggest thing is that you might get it going the wrong direction. So look at it, memorize it, try to remember what it looks like, and which direction you go. You go backwards to begin, okay? This is the uppercase S. Let's learn how to make the lowercase s. Let's look at the uppercase s and see what's different about them. Okay, They look exactly the same. The only difference is how big they are. The uppercase s goes from the top line to the bottom line. The lowercase s goes from the midline to the bottom line which means your curves, as you can see, this curve is a little bit bigger than this one. This one's pretty small. So you're going to have to turn quicker and keep it skinnier, okay? So let's talk about how to make this lowercase s. Again, you start at the 2 o'clock time on the clock. You go over, around, curve. Over, around, curve, over, around, curve, over, around, curve, okay? Now they're getting even smaller, so I'm going to have to stay right on those lines and turn pretty quick, over, around, curve. I've got to keep it in between this midline, this dotted line, and the lower line, okay? over, around, curve, over, around, curve, over, around, curve. Mrs. Wathen messed that one up just a little bit. See, even Mrs. Wathen makes mistakes sometimes. Okay, so let's try it on our own. They've given you your starting point. It's very small space between these two lines. So you've got to make two turns in between these two lines. So you go over around, so see how small that first one is? And then you curve back the other way, okay? So over around, one more time, look how small that is, and curve back around the other way. Over around, curve. Over around, curve. So what might get you in trouble here? What might snag you up and make your S's look funny? Once again, like the uppercase, if you go the wrong direction first, you're going to mess up. Remember, it goes backwards on the clock. OK? 
counterclockwise. If you don't turn quick enough, you're going to end up below the line. And that's not what we want. You might have started in the right place, but you have to finish in the right place too. So we want quick little turns so that they're in between both lines. There, that worked better. Okay, one more time. Over, around, curve. All right, I know you can do it. This is the lowercase s.